In this video, we will explore the single habit that more than any other is responsible for your average person to save and invest large sums of money. We'll explore not only what this method is, why it's beneficial, and a key piece that has revolutionized my investing. This method is how I started my finance journey and was able to transform myself from being essentially broke to millionaire status in under 10 years. Now, I don't say this is some sort of weird flex, and I certainly don't think that you should be trying to compare your current financial situation with mine. Maybe you're doing significantly better than me or worse than me, but either way, that's okay because we're not in competition with each other. Instead, I mentioned this money as a specific and concrete example of just how powerful the method and the habit that we're going to be talking about today actually is. And that habit is financial automation. The problem is that life is complicated and it's messy. We've all got a lot of things going on in our lives and we're all getting pulled in a million different directions. With all the chaos in our lives, it's really easy for us to get distracted and fail to do some of the simple everyday tasks that we know we should be doing. So essentially automating your finances means identifying the habits and the actions that you need to take in order to be successful financially be that saving, investing, planning for retirement, and then taking those actions and handing them off to a robot, or to be more accurate, a computer or a piece of software or website that will automatically take care of those actions for you. This way, no matter how chaotic life becomes, those key financial tasks are going to still be accomplished month after month after month. Now, there are two general categories that I automate bills, and investments. And automating each of these has a couple of huge benefits. First, it gives you peace of mind. By automating your bills, you ensure that no matter what happens, your bills are getting paid. It doesn't matter if you go on vacation and forgot about your bills or if you tragically end up in the hospital for two months. No matter what happens to you, your bills are still going to keep on getting paid on time. Even missing a single payment on a credit card because you were distracted while on vacation can drop your credit score by 50 to 100 points if you otherwise had good credit. And when it comes to investing, automation helps improve your efficiency and consistency, and as a result, you are almost certainly going to invest and save a lot more over the course of your life. By consistently devoting a little money each month towards investing, you allow that money to grow and compound over time. But if you are sporadic and you're missing months, then you're missing out on that money growing and compounding. So how can we actually do this? Well, when it comes to bills, I set all of my bills to be paid in full automatically on the due date. This includes things like my mortgage or your rent payments, utilities like internet, sewer, water, gas, car payments, credit card payments, whatever it is, automate it. This can often be done by either providing the billing company your bank account information and have the money pulled directly out of your checking account, or provide them with a credit card number. Now, when it comes to credit cards, I use credit cards more like a pass-through entity, meaning that I have enough money on hand to purchase whatever item that I'm buying, and I'm simply buying that item with a card so that I can get those credit card reward points. If you pay your credit card bill in full every month, you will never be charged a single cent worth of interest. And you'll actually be making some money because you'll be getting those cash back or travel rewards. But what do you do if you don't have enough cash on hand to pay your bill in full every month? Maybe you've racked up some debt over the years. Well, in a case like that, I still recommend automating your credit card payments, but instead just set your payments to the minimum monthly amount due. Now, you can always go back in and make an additional payment manually if you're trying to chip away at that debt faster than just making the minimum payment, and I never recommend just making the minimum payment. But this way, at an absolute bare minimum, you will never have a late payment screwing up your credit score for the next few years. Now, when it comes to automating your investments, the easiest way is to go online and log into your job's payroll system and have them automatically set aside a certain amount of money each month towards a retirement account like a 401k. But outside of retirement accounts like this, 
I was always a little frustrated at the inability to completely automate my investing. You see, if you're trying to buy stocks, most brokerages don't let you fully automate the process. Places like Fidelity and many others will let you automatically transfer some money from your checking account into your Fidelity account each month. But then at that point, you still have to manually log in and manually buy whatever stocks you're interested in buying, thus defeating the purpose of automation. And then I learned about a groundbreaking brokerage platform called M1 Finance. I'm going to be talking about their stuff here a little bit, but I think it's important to realize that this is not a sponsored video. M1 Finance is not paying me for this. I just love their product. And after learning about M1 Finance, I don't really use any other platforms such as Robinhood, Webull, Vanguard, or anything else. You see, M1 Finance allows you to set up a predetermined investing strategy as a pie chart. So maybe you want to have 5% of your money invested in Tesla stock, 20% into an index fund, 8% into Apple stock. However it is that you decide to split up your money, just so long as your total investment adds up to 100%. And then each month, M1 Finance will automatically purchase additional shares of those stocks in accordance with your predetermined strategy. So you can set this up once and then let M1 Finance automate your investing month after month for decades at a time. But it gets better. In fact, it gets much better. You see, M1 Finance also offers checking accounts, debit cards, credit cards, they offer a wide variety of financial products, just like most banks do. And then they can all interact with each other based on predefined criteria that you set up. So imagine this for a moment. Let's imagine that your monthly bills, mortgage, credit cards, everything, all of your debt, let's just say it's about $3,000 per month. And let's say you always want an extra $1,000 in your checking account just to be on the safe side. You can set it up where anytime your checking account balance is over that $4,000 threshold that you specified, that all of the extra money is automatically sent to your investment portfolio account. And it's automatically invested according to your predefined criteria. And likewise, you can also set up minimums. So hypothetically, if your balance in your checking account ever drops below, I don't know, let's just say $500, if it drops below that threshold, the system can automatically sell a few of your assets to bring your checking account balance back up to 500 bucks. So what this allows you to do is not only completely automate your investing, but also maximize the amount that you invest each month. If you had a particularly bad month and had a bunch of unexpected bills, that's okay because the system will adjust itself and not put as much money towards your investments for that particular month. But if you had a good month and you didn't really spend much money at all for whatever reason, the system will send all of that extra money to your investment pool automatically so that that money can start growing and compounding. But remember, you still have easy access to it because if your balance starts to drop, you will just turn around and sell those assets immediately. So instead of simply investing a static amount of money each month, like, I don't know, maybe 500 bucks per month, some months this program might invest $600. Other months it might invest 800 or maybe $274 for a month if you have some extra bills. Whatever the number, it allows you to put the absolute most amount of money towards investing while still having enough money to pay bills each month. If you're interested in checking out M1 Finance, I'll have an affiliate link below. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below, and as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.